Pretty impressive second half performance, just perhaps not taking our chances today. Yeah, I thought the first half was, was impressive for us as well, apart from the middle 10 minutes of it. Um, I thought the, the game was totally out today. I'm a little bit disappointed because I feel it's two points dropped. Um, and as you say, look, the second 45, I think there was only one team in it. Um, the, the chances we created, I can't believe we haven't scored to make it 2 1, to be honest. But again, that's football, so where it goes. So we have to pick ourselves up and go again. The goal we scored, uh, a very, very well worked finish. Fantastic goal. We've been doing patterns all week. Um, so choosing Thursday, and to today one of the patterns came out, and it was a great finish from Shirell, who might have had work, work to backside off um, all, all, all game today. And deserved it right. She got the champagne at the end. I think she was outstanding today. But again, like I say, go back to the, the two points drops. It's really, really disappointing. Um, but again, like I say, that's what we're bit of a sucker punch in the first half going 1-0 down. What was the message at half-time? The message at half-time was to keep doing what they were doing, so I thought they were doing really well, to be fair to them. Um, they were touching the ball, they were aggressive, they were competing in their 1v1s. Um, it was just, we just lacked a little bit of energy in the final third. Um, so we, we told the girls if we can get that, if we can get that right, we'd obviously create more chances. And coming out, they say second 45, they did create more chances. It's just, we need someone now to start putting them chances away. Because if we, if we do that, then we'll be a force to be reckoned with, I think, because we've gradually, the last four or five weeks, we've, we've really turned it around. Um, and, and the performances have been have been really good. So, like I say, hopefully we can we, we can start putting them chances away and start climbing the table. Another player that stuck out today, Annabelle Johnson, just seems to be all over the pitch. Yeah, Annabelle, she's been made captain for the last two games because obviously we've got injuries. And Annabelle's been fantastic. Um, she she She's a kind of player that everyone wants in her side. She's full of energy, she's aggressive. And she's actually good on the ball as well. Um, she's a fantastic defender as well. So in that sense, yeah, but I, I'm not going to pick one or two players out because I thought they all did really well today. <laughs> so we come back in Tuesday and Thursday and we prepare for Durham. And a very, very fine margins, couple of chances at the end. It could easily have been three points today. Again, two points drop. So again, everyone in the ground can see that obviously we're progressing, which is a, which is a good thing for us and a good thing for the girls. Um, but we just need someone to start tucking in chances away. Like I said, if we do that, we'll progress up the table a little bit quicker. Um, and everyone will be everyone will be coming through the gates to watch us. Dean, thank you. Lovely, cheers, guys.